Here's Starling Marte. Leading off for the Mets. The right fielder, number six. Starling. The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. In there at the knees. And there's a ball. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one, two. Swing and a pop up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Coming off a four hit effort in yesterday's game. Line drive, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, not going to get him. He's in there. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. That's through there for a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Got him. And there are two down. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And a pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Nimmo at second with two down. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now the DH, Kyle Schwarber. For the Phillies, the designated hitter, Kyle. And a pitch. Schwarber. With Max, you're always thinking about the strikeout. Chris, he's one of three guys along with Clemens and Randy Johnson to strike out 20 in a game. Yeah, and with his delivery and release point, sometimes it seems like that fastball is rising, has a little upshoot to it. Real deception for the hitter, along with pretty good velocity. Outside. Next pitch is outside. Right side, and it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That just a cookie that. down the middle. No, I mean, those are the ones you dream yeah. about. The ones in the cage, you're no, just hoping you get no, in the no. ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Nick Castellanos stands in now and watches strike one. One run batted in yesterday, their only run of the game. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Runner at first with no outs here. And down on strikes. One out. Here's Bryce Harper. Comes into this one with more homers than anyone in the National League. First pitch, and he just misses. Singy Max Scherzer has a condition called heterochromia. Do you know what that is? Well, I know what it is because of Max Scherzer, and it's when your eyes are two different colors, and something pretty interesting. We've seen it with dogs and, you know, individuals, but not a whole lot of humans, and Max Scherzer, one of those with it. So here's Scherzer. That one missed. Yeah, left eye is brown, right eye is blue. He calls his left eye his baseball eye. Dusty Baker found out when he asked Max which eye he should look at. And that one gets away at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. Schwarber into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. That Trey cool. Turner now. That's what a stuff. season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. 
first pitch, and that's in for a strike. One other note, the Scherzer family adopted dogs with that same eye condition that Max has. Scherzer deals. And that one fouled off. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. JT Real Muto steps in. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Schwarber on second. Harper at first. Two out of the inning. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Top of the second. Here's Francisco Lindor. Suarez back to work. There's a strike. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, love it when he comes to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Got it by him for the K. And here's the rookie catcher, Francisco Alvarez. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. You know, Book, every team has a hitter's meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. Swing and a miss struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Bottom half of inning number two. Go, and Billy. here is CJ Crow. Here comes a pitch. Crow. Swing and a miss as that one was high. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. And that is cut on and missed. And the count is 0-2. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And 1-2. And and another ball. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. That's down and in. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. This is Bryson Stott. Next pitch has popped up. Alonso makes the grab, and there's two gone. And now it's Alec Bohm. And a foul ball. Second inning here, no score. That one out to right. Marte moves under it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. New inning getting started. And now, Darren Ruff. Bounce to the right. Stop. In plenty of time to first. One up, one down. Here's Tommy Pham. 
That's in there. Strike one. Fam getting to start in left. 35 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Ball one there. Top of the third. No score. Rocketed out towards right center. That's down. One hops off the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Going to count one and two. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch just misses, and that's ball two. And now it's filled up. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Crone makes the grab, and there's two down. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. In there for strike one. Nope. And ball one. Fan at second with two down. Ground ball left side. On to first. That's the third out. Back at Citizens Bank Park as we go to the last of the third. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Way inside gets out of the way. Marsh hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was a second round pick back in 2016. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Swings and misses. One and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Escobar makes the grab, two down. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Castellanos measures six feet, four inches, 205 pounds, and his last 10 games stand out. He's homered in four of them. Toss to Alonzo, and Castellanos is out. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Jeff McNeil stands in. That clips the zone, and it's 0-1. Fouled off to the right. Kicks and deals. Popped up. And there's one down. Here's Pete Alonso. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one down the line. Krohn takes it to the bag, and that quickly two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Lindor in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Boom. Slings to first, and the Mets go one, two, three. Welcome back, bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Harper. The pitch. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances, and a Rookie of the Year to boot. Bryce Harper has turned out to be just as good as advertised. Scherzer ahead one and two. Stays alive. 
Yeah, and has largely lived up to the hype. There hasn't been a more scrutinized ball player than Bryce Harper over the last 10 years. I mean, he's had a target on his back because of how well he did at a young age, but he's backed it up with a couple of MVPs and got his team to the World Series in 2022. Next offering upstairs. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's Trey Turner. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's your stop. Going one. And the right hander deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Chopped left side, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Right hander kicks deals. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. The next offering misses. Full count now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now it is J.T. Real Muto. Tapped softly on the ground. Lindor. Now the throw to first on the run. He's in there. And now the first baseman, C.J. Crone. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. Righty delivers. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That misses. Ball two. Real Muto, the runner at first with two gone. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. I think he was sitting off speed there. and misses it's a strike and welcome back we go to the top of the fifth and stepping in for New York Eduardo Escobar there's a strike well these Mets as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate they've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game and it's led to some frustrating moments they've been fooled quite a bit today swing and a miss for the strikeout pulled the string on the changeup here's the catcher for the Mets Francisco Alvarez First pitch doesn't find the zone. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. And next for the yeah, Mets, Tommy Pham doubled in his first A.B. Pitch misses there, ball one. Good eye right there. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. And the pitch. That one's in there, and now two and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Bryson stop.
Scherzer back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these fills just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Boom. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. Fam whips it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Marsh. Struck out swinging his first time. And takes low for ball one. Boom. Leads off second with one gone in the inning. And now two and nothing. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Two and one now. Scherzer deals. Hammered on the line. Base hit. Runner around third. Fires to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. And it's one nothing. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive into center field. Line drive and foul ball. One one now. Late that time, and it's strike two. Two two. And there's a ball. Fights it off, he'll see another. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. He was all over that one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Bryce Harper to the plate. Ripped on a line. Harper retired. And the inning is over. Top six. And now the right fielder, Starling Marte. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Christopher Sanchez. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Ball one, no strikes. A little out front there as he swings through it. Got him swinging for the strikeout. 
pulled the string on the changeup. Digging in, Brandon Nimmo, one for two. That one the other way. And he's out on the tag. Now it's going to be Jeff McNeil. That's in there. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And it's fouled away. The pitch. And one and two. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. He goes down looking. Back here in Philadelphia. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Turner now. Turner in his eighth season a career batting average over 300 and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. Lifted in the air down the left side fam settles underneath it makes the grab one down just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left and a couple of quick outs and now CJ Crone line drive that's a base hit out of the left center field around first heading for two now a relay to second but he's in there easily well that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there when you connect and it jumps off your bat like that you're thinking double at the very least what a great swing on it and man he wasn't fooled at all stepping in Bryson stop and yeah, the first offering is not close runner at second two down Swing and a miss. That's strike one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Here's a 2-1. On. on the ground to the left, Lindor whips it to first on the run. That's the third out, inning over. Top of inning number seven. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. He last pitched two days ago. Number 31, Craig Kimbrell. The pitch. There's the strike at the knees. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. There's the strike. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. One down, base is empty. Caught him looking for the K. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to it. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that one wrapped foul. Next pitch is downstairs. And that misses off the outside edge. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. And it's even up. Right now they're looking for something. Hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. 
Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Stop. Tosses to first. That's out number three. A new arm into the game, the righty, Drew Smith. 25th appearance of the year for him. So digging in, Alec Bohm. Smith. The pitch. Strike one. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte calls it in, and there's one away. So up next, Brandon Marsh. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Not in time. He legs it out. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-handed reliever. And down on strikes he goes. And yeah, there's two away. And digging in for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. And a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's Harper now. Harper. Next pitch has popped up. Escobar gets under it. Makes the catch. And the inning is over. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Ready to begin the eighth. Now here is Tommy Fan. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Jose Alvarado. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Called strike right there. And one out now. So the batting order turns over. Starling Marte up to him. That misses off the outside edge. That one off the mark. Two and oh. There's a strike. Next one misses. And that's ball three. That's a strike across the top of the zone. The tying run at the plate. And that's ball four. One down, runner at first. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. In there, and it's 0-1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Marte, at first, one gone. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Turner for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Trey Turner. And the right hitter back to work. And there's a foul ball. That one misses at one and one. Line drive, and it stays fair. 
Takes the turn. He's digging for second. To second. Pulls him off the bag. Got a change up and a pretty good one, too. Outside corner, but he just got extended and put the barrel on it. Showed he has a lot of plate coverage on that swing right there. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. The 1 0. Swings through that one for strike one. And delivers outside. No outs. Runner on second. And a 2-1 hammered, but foul. Man at second. In the dirt. Alvarez collects, fires to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. And now for the Phillies, C.J. Crone. Out towards right center field. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic. So when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it. And that was nicely done for extra bases. Stop the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next pitch has popped up. Escobar makes the grab for the second out. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving Whoa, that ball that? somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Runner leads away at second. Good that's eye good. right there. On the ground, McNeil tosses to first. That is the inning. Back at Citizens Bank Park, and now Jeff McNeil. The pitch. Alvarado, a 6'2 southpaw, 245 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. Strike two. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus yeah. hits, and a triple crown. And here is Pete Alonso. In for a strike. It's 0 1. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 2 now. Well, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to Crone. Only one out remaining for the Mets. So last chance for the Mets. Now the batter now, Francisco Lindor. First pitch, just misses. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. That one is gone. His ninth homer of the year, and they close the gap. It's 2-1. Eduardo Escobar, the next to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. First oh offering, and it just misses. Just off the outside edge. Alvarado, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys that can come out feel good. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. He sends it out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 2-2. Next to hit, Francisco Alvarez. And that's through there for a strike. 0-2 as he waves at that one. The punch out there. 
And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Brooks really taking over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just no, filthy, man. And one of the no, better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's no, very no, high, no. and it just breaks a ton. No. The wind of the pitch. March in the box now. Takes strike one. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And it's one and one. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Got him swinging for the K. Slider got him for strike three. So now the DH spot, Kyle Schwarber. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike one. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Now fly ball to right center. That's out number two. Nick Castellanos digs in now. The entire defense, infield and outfield, shifted to the left. On the ground to third, and it goes just foul. The 0 1. And a big swing and a miss. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get their base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bad after being down in the count oh, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. And there's the strike. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next one is off the play, and it's two and one. Left-hand hitter waits. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Chris Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. Darren Ruff up now for the Mets. And a pitch. That one missed. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now the left fielder, Tommy Pham. That Three. one's in there, 0-1. And, one. And, one. and that's in for a strike. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. Got him! Two in a row set down to start the 10th. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. Hard ground ball, base knock. Coming home. He'll score. It's 3-2. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Marte of the move. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open bait. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. 
So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard. And... Trey Turner at the play. shortstop. And a pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. McNeil gets it to first. And here in the tenth, the leadoff man is out. JT Real Muto will hit next. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Riding to the plate and misses inside. Kicks and fires. And now it's filled up. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And ball four to a board. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. You make the team earn their way off. Diaz throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. in the box now takes strike one power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days got to be ready for that first pitch heater and he's down 0 2 as he swings through it big pitch right here he's going to try to make a pitch it's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play McNeil Lindor that's one got him double play and they strand the tying run at third to end the game well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. A 3-2 final score in this one. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For Philadelphia, two runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 39 minutes. Our paid attendance at Citizens Bank Park this afternoon: 43,651. The Phillies thank you for attending and remind you to please buckle up and drive home safely.